Chapter 43, Jokin and Joe's Heart to Heart. The Saints have finished day five of their perimeter march. Joe's taking in a little relaxation time before Operation Saving Grace begins. He's kicked back in his recliner, enjoying a cold one and watching college football, while Knife Warrior's showing off for Joe's secret company by taking in some target practice on a few barn flies. Joe notices Jokin's restless and wants to come out and play, but Joe's not in the mood to converse at the moment. Joe pays him no attention, but Jokin's not having it. Jokin floats around the room, doing his best to get under Joe's skin. He rattles the mirror on the wall, he tickles Joe's feet, and knocks on his forehead. Joe purposely ignores Jokin, keeping his eyes focused on the game. Jojo, oh Joseph, do I need to turn off the tube and pour out your beer, or what? Or hey, I know. In an instant, Jokin lifts Joe from his recliner, bends him over his knee, and starts spanking his butt. <coughs> Joe squirms and kicks like a five-year-old, <coughs> but can't escape Jokin's <coughs> strong spirit hands. And just when Joe believes he's finished, Jokin gives him one more good one to grow on. That last one's for rooting for Alabama. Come on, Ken. I'm a grown man for crying out loud. Aw, did Daddy hurt him? Little boy feel bad. Jokin takes Big Joe in his arms, rocking him like a baby. Okay, okay, put me down. I'm sorry. Let's talk, damn it. Now that's better. Listen, son, we need to have a heart-to-heart. You can't allow Austin's plan to destroy your two brothers. They're your brothers. Joe's still upset because he's missing the game. Well, Ken, I believe if you hadn't taken your family into a devil meeting, I wouldn't have to kill anyone, now would I? It hurts me. When you call me Ken, I'm your dad. Can't you call me dad? Sure thing, Ken. Jokin bypasses Joe's sarcasm and gets to the point. Well, this God Austin worships, this Jesus everyone's marching to, maybe he can do something. Maybe change Jack and Jerry and take the devil out of I don't know. Redeem them or something. I mean, what about your mother? I still love Farah. Doesn't she mean anything to you? If she means that much to you, maybe you should go live inside of her and leave me the hell alone. I mean, come on, Ken. I can't have friends or a relationship with a girl because I know you're watching my every move. And who knows when you'll attack someone. Hell, I can't even jerk off for crying out loud. Besides, you're the one who got her raped. Masturbation will make you go blind. (laughs) You should know. (laughs) So that's what happened to Gary's eyes. Leave me alone. I'm watching the game. I'm sorry, son. I've been selfish. I'm ashamed. And if there's any forgiveness, I promise I'll give your life back and look for another place to dwell. If only you can find a way to save Farrah. Okay, but you'd promise me you'd leave me alone if I killed the devil and brought Jack home, remember? I mean it this time. I swear, on Farrah's life. Joe always wanted to have this conversation, but has too much respect for his dad. Joe goes soft. I can speak for Austin. That boy will have no problem killing his mom and dad. When I'm not sure how to contact my brothers, 
or my mother. We've not spoken in years. They're devils, Ken. But if I run into them, I'll give it a go. Fair enough. That's all I can ask for, son. Joe is being kind as usual. But in his heart, he knows he must find his family to rid himself of Jokin and get his life back. Here comes a knife, man. Time to get back in your cage. Jokin eases his ghostly self back into Joe. Hey, buddy. Did you impress our company? Them yeller jackets kept me busier than a cat covering up crap on a marble floor. Picked off a few barn flies I hear buzzing, and I guarantee you, not one of them pesky mosquitoes escaped with minor injuries, neither. <laughs> hey, what do you say we give these two lovebirds some time and you and I head to Seven Mile and start a beer war? Got down off my horse. If your brains are dynamite, you couldn't blow your nose. You hate Seven Mile, Joe. I've got a few relatives I haven't seen in a while. I'm going to try tracking them for an old friend of ours. What do you say, old buddy? Well, guess I didn't pack my fancy snakeskin shit kickers for nothing. Let me glide my daggers across the rock a few times and we'll get her going here directly. <laughs> <laughs>